so my neighbor just pulled up and asked what on earth I was doing and um, I explained that I'm trying to make felt from human hair. So the vinegar is just to strip out all the oils that are in the hair to make it stick together better. Um, dish soap works just as well, or at least so I'm told when I tried it, it didn't quite work as well. I found that rubbing lightly works way better than rubbing hard. So just light rubbing of the nasty hair mixture. So I had one of the more disturbing moments of my life when I went into the barbershop to get some of this. Now, I go into the barbershop, and I'm prepared for them to think that I'm a freak, because I'm going to ask for human hair for a creative project, arts and crafts and what all that. But then, I ask at the front counter, and to my horror, they say, there are two of you? Apparently, somebody had come in a week before asking for human hair for personal crafts as well. And I, my first thought was, what kind of freak would want this for a, a personal project? Oh, wait. <laughs> So my neighbor came by a moment ago and asked what on earth I was doing, and I explained. And he said, oh, there are people in southern China and uh, Tibet that make uh, felt out of yak hair. And I, I, then he asked questions about it, and I felt not quite so strange. It was, it was funny.
This is the case of Schrodinger's towel. We don't know whether they've bonded or not until we open it. Yes. An observation may change that, and so we have to like observe well. If you observe the right way, then it's, it turns out perfect. If you observe the wrong way, then... No fedora. No fedora. I want to see how it's progressing. Maybe it's way too early for that. I don't know. starting to felt together. It needs to go together more. Might need more of that uh, vinegar or soap and water mixture. Hey, hey, you know who the hairiest outlaw is? Robin of Locksley? Ha 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 